Dude, I'm so excited. It's like the last stream for like a week for me. Mmm. I get to shut my fucking mouth for a while. Where, where are you going? I'm going to my familial estate in my hometown. Oh, nice. <laughs> going to see me familia? Yep, exactly. I'm going to Monticello. Oh, exciting. That's right. I know the name of Thomas Jefferson's estate. What about Mont Saint Pierre? I have no idea what that is. Is it a brand of sparkling water? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> What about the Count of Monte Cristo? Ooh, oh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, yeah. Alexander Dumas. Mm -hmm. du isn't it uh, Dumas? Du Dumas, yeah. That's right. Dumas. Dumas. That's Romstein, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe du you made me Google Madonna. Dumas. Dumas. Make sure Madonna is still alive. <laughs> you know we're fucked, by the way. If she dies like within this next week, we're catching all oh, the yeah, for no, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I've Dumas? said it so many times, though. <laughs> that's why we're going to be really fucked, because it's going to be like the proof that we actually doom people to failure. It's something about when it hits the Canadian air, it just becomes real. <laughs> She's only 59, not 69. She's got a few more. Go. Got a curse a few <laughs> more. <laughs> just a few. One or two more? Yeah. That's just me after every year. Just a few more, please. <laughs> Elise and I are pretty convinced we want to die when we're 69. I nice. that's like, pretty fitting, yeah. I was saying like I don't want to. I don't want to go to 70. Uh, 69 is just way much way much better is what my brain wanted to say. So I'm just gonna go <laughs> ahead and spit that out there. Yeah, yeah. So you're definitely making it before 69. I think it would, is what I would say. Uh, 70. I feel like the 70s aren't that bad. I think when you like 85 80, for me. Yeah, yeah like, maybe I should move it up 10, 80. Yeah, like when you get into the eighties, then it then it just. Well, I look forward to yelling at young children for no reason. It, de it depends though, because like sometimes you see an eighty year old and you you look sixty and you're like, oh, who the fuck are you? Such a crazy man. And sometimes you see an eighty year old and they can't get out of their chair and they can't move. Yeah. It's Factor like, I... in science progression over those years, by the way, because maybe by eight by the time you're eighty, a uh, hundred could be the new norm. I was just gonna I ask that. So. Do you guys think aging is still gonna be a factor by the time we're eighty? I. Probably, I know. Yeah. So Ryan says he thinks that it's not, What's but that? I think there's no doubt it will be. You think, they... you think we're gonna have biological immortality in our <laughs> lifetimes? I don't think. So. There's I think no we're just way. gonna miss it. Only <laughs> the <laughs> elite people it. will have it. <laughs> All the poor people aren't gonna have it for sure. True. Yeah. You wanna weed them out, Rob? You're, you're not gonna, gonna say... even let that go public. You're gonna say your last joke, and then right as you flatline, like a doctor's gonna bust in and be like. <laughs> Last room on the floor. Didn't you hear the news? <laughs> <laughs> we cured We're dying. Do <laughs> oh, you think man. we'll get biological immortality or the ability to upgrade our brains or like send them into the cloud first? Oh yeah, I think Definitely. the singularity comes before the biological immortality. Absolutely sure. no way in a million. Years. No way. What? No biological. We like kind of understand. Like dying a bit more now than we did like 10 years ago. We have no fucking clue how the brain even works still. No, we're just gonna copy it. Like, yeah, we're just gonna copy it. But like, you can't copy the brain under the curtain. No, you just do control C on the brain. Control C. <laughs> if you just hook up your brain with a USB port. Uh, what if you control C it and then control X on the brain? <laughs> oh, shit. You're fucked. What if you control C it and then you control V it twice? Uh oh. oh dude. And then you you double got a Michael twice King. as smart. <laughs> You can have a lot of Michael Keaton's on your hands. Well, I talked about this on the other NLSS like a couple weeks ago, but they did bring a pig brain back to life for a couple of days. Oh. <laughs> just for no, no damage whatsoever. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just the brain and not the body, so it yeah. had no input. So it was probably like living hell for that pig. Yeah. Brain. So. Oh, poor pig. Yeah. yeah. I think that's my biggest fear is that, like, my brain, I'll live to a point where they could preserve brains, but we don't know that it's like a living hell yet. Yeah. yeah, like it's a yeah, full black pig episode. Of all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Monkey loves you. Yeah, you're just trapped forever. Do you think within our lifetime we'll understand the nature of the universe, like fully? What do you mean? No, I mean, we have a formula for it, don't we? I don't think it's anyone's lifetime. Just the one. <laughs> like the absolute true origin down through Planck time and further. No, no the, the universe is too big for us to ever. I think. Yeah, we can't even see past the fucking cosmic background radiation. That we don't even know what's out there. Well, isn't the uh, isn't like so? There's like three galaxies around the Milky Way, or like in the Milky Way region, and then like even if we could travel faster than light, we wouldn't be able to. Yeah, well, you get out, get away, away from those fast. three galaxies. You, we got, you have to have FTL. 
Yeah. I guess I just figured there might be some chain of, of consequence where we develop enough information to then ascertain further information, to extrapolate it, not to actually know it. Uh, like those are too many show. syllables in those you words know. in that sentence. Yeah. Too. Like, way too I... <laughs> Do you guys think we'll see the stars in our lifetime? The Milky Way or even Mars in our lifetime? You stop this. <laughs> <laughs> the worst name for a racehorse. Fartenstein or open and close parentheses? <laughs> I have to pick one. <laughs> well, no, you don't actually. Oh, I saw some picture recently of a racehorse named Bofa D's Nuts. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm pretty sure that's it was pretty real. Good. <laughs> I wanted to. Be. Can't get over the idea that everything that's small continues on indefinitely, and everything that large is large as well. And it's sort of like a Mobius strip. So like you go down through the bottom and you end up at the top again. And then I get to the stop and I go for a ride. <laughs> then I get to the bottom and I see you again. I know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Helter Skelter. It's voting time. Both of these nuts is real and won a race. The worst thing that happened on Noah's Ark. O-W-O or no drinking water. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Noah probably had to, right? Like, it <laughs> Like, like imagine the whole universe was just one molecule. What animal does Noah fucked first? Sorry. There's not no sense of scale for it because wrong. everything around us. Just want to put hashtag. Wait, not Nick, wrong. no, hold on. Was I want to know which one Noah fucked first. Sorry, <laughs> I, I gotta. I'm gonna circle back to you, but we do need to figure out. Which Here's what Noah I think is fucked. First. All right. There's so many stories in the Old Testament where you know God is like, "Hey, I killed your wife to see if you still and believed in me." Is, do you? And I, yeah. He's like, all right, cool. See you in heaven. But then the. Why is it, he was allowed to bring his two sons onto the ark, right? Uh, was he? Or did know. he have to be? Did he have to choose his best son? It depends on who you ask. Probably, I think some people say <laughs> oh. he ordered like a harem of women to go on with him too, or something mm. like Wasn't that. Wasn't Emma Watson nice. on it? I'm trying to. Yeah, I think Emma Watson was on it actually. Wasn't she? I was. think Emma yeah. Watson was on there. Yeah, it was, it was Emma her Watson and that was guy. on the ark. Right, was gladiator ah. guy, wasn't it? Uh, what are you talking about? Russell Crowe. Yeah, wasn't it Russell Crowe? Yes, Carol Crowe and Russell Crowe. Evan Almighty. Yeah, Crow. yeah Cro Crow Almighty, yeah. I remember that movie. I could have sworn it was Russell Crowe in that movie. Coming up next. Oh, the movie One no. male Emma Watson and one female Emma Watson. <laughs> we can There's all a agree. measure seeing a plank length. Oh, I'm going to read that later. <laughs> we can all agree that Malf is a modern day hippie or I, Ryan, am a big fat moron person. 100%. Oh, you got fucking roasted, dude. 100%. That is... I'm going to do it in order. Austin, then in likelihood, Bear. Robert. Roasted, dude. It's, oh, Bear's number one. All right, it's Bear. It's Robert! <laughs> <laughs> and you said you're a big fat moron person. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Goddamn big fat moron person. I voted for it. <laughs> I don't think Malv is really a hippie, to be honest, so I had to vote for it. He doesn't seem very hippie like, honestly. Just he wants to live in the woods, but that's like about it. Yeah, but he, he works that's, in like a very corporate I mean, environment. He works at a company that generates electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing about him except for he gardens. A just so crazy it's brilliant business idea to pitch on Shark Tank. Shorts that grow slowly into pants or remake The Last Jedi. <laughs> and Gorda, I'm amazed that a resident, uh, we have a resident physicist in our chat. Thank you for being here. A resident physicist, oh, that, otherwise God. known as a resident sleeper, am I oh, right? Oh, 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 nice. oh. Fucking stupid science, bitch. Get on. I disagree with what God. they're saying. I think you're, you're We're better than you with games, I bet. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be that smart to be a physicist. Okay, next one. Ryan, you just gotta get a degree in physics. <laughs> it's not that hard. Tens of thousands of people do it every year. Forget dogs. What is really man's best friend? Austin or hogs? Hogs. Hogs. Hogs are Hogs. Hogs means have a wonderfully great summer. Mm. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Ding dong. Anybody else hate heat? Yes. Yeah, yeah dude. I don't like Even it at all. Florida has been real upsetting. Yeah, <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah. Just makes me wonder about the nature of the universe, really. <laughs> Have you considered going to school for physics? <laughs> no, I actually, I hadn't really. I don't think I'm smart enough it for that. It seems like it would be up your alley. 
A lawn decoration sure to make the neighbors mad. Roll Tide or human dicks? <laughs> well, I feel like Roll Tide wouldn't because you'd only find it in Alabama. I don't know what the fuck Roll Tide is. Me neither. I mean, and I wrote it. Either. If you do it in like Louisiana or something, they'd be like, uh, oh, you're not supposed to have that here. All you're I know naughty. is that whenever media insinuates that a brother and sister are having a relationship, chat yeah. types K Kona Roll Tide. Roll Tide, yeah. <laughs> Uh, is that the... to infer that all Alabamians are incestual? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly correct, yeah. <laughs> are they Alabamians or Alabamanians? In incestual? In yeah, you don't want to go there. They're right next door to me. Yeah. Mind if I roll tie? <laughs> Southern mm, Southerners. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> the one class of people it's totally okay to make fun of without ever apologizing for it. I was ever. wondering about that. The other day. I was like, is this okay? Can we keep yes. doing this in this modern culture? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay, one guy from Tennessee gave us permission. Oh, I, I want Cobalt to sign off on it as well. I'm from Tennessee. That sounds good to me. Send more of your food north mm. because I want to eat it. But also, yes. make it better for you, because I don't want to die. Dude, I don't think there's a way to make southern food good for you. You just have to accept that just it's like delicious. Some, like, gluten-free gravy or something? I don't know. It wouldn't be southern food if <laughs> that it was would be good for you. disgusting. Yeah. It just needs, <laughs> like, four pounds of butter and sugar, fry yeah. it, fried butter sugar. Get some molasses <laughs> in there. <laughs> off, Dude, you know what? That probably exists. Oh yeah, it's got it. They, they fry Dude, everything. Okay, well, a strange thing to keep as a pet, an Alabamanian, or <laughs> an actual human person. <laughs> These are the, well, I guess they're not the same thing, right? Not no. at all. Yeah, uh, they're not humans in Alabama. Yeah, that was the joke! <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Southern Barbecue is fucking delicious. Yeah, it really is. is. Honey molasses. Right now. We so only get barbecue like... better than the South. I'm like not in the right south for southern barbecue, I think. I know. What do you get in Florida? You get like. We have Gator. This we is have chain World, uh, world uh, famous yeah. barbecue competitions every year here. You get Cubano sandwiches. Uh, well, in Miami. Yeah. And next, hey, they got gumbo. Gumbo's not that terrible for you. We're going to roast that pig, brother. I thought that was like a it's, Louisiana thing. Yeah, it's not like the. It's like, it's kind of bio-y because it's like swampy in Florida, but then it's none of the good culture. It's all just shitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Disneyland, that's good culture. <laughs> HR would probably get the most complaints on bring your daddy to work day, daddy's in quotation marks, or bring your cum box to work day. Why oh, do you yeah, need but... a whole box for it? You got a lot. I mean, you don't say your like size jar. Do you, bud? <laughs> yeah, use it to work. Is it a plastic box or cardboard? Yeah, you get sorted out. Because a cardboard would get leaky. See, I really <laughs> want to interject and continue with this conversation, but I feel like I, I can't. I should. Rob used to see this thing on Reddit about a guy with a cardboard box. True. Sure. Wow, not Rob, way to bring that one up. <laughs> God, Rob never stops talking about Reddit. Advice, never stick your tongue into Dad, or never stick your tongue into Waluigi. Wow. Is anyone going to say it? Also, hey, there's a bus that comes out in front of the... Hotel every 30 minutes. <laughs> Do the world a favor. <laughs> Send your butthole pictures to uh, Sakurai. Don't do that. Sakurai's a nice dude. He's like he's one of the most right, wholesome yeah. Hindu people. How do you know? Doesn't he just learn to appreciate buttholes? That's actually a better point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yes, Sakurai. Why don't you like my butthole? You know, we should send him more buttholes until he appreciates Oh, I already <laughs> said that, and I regretted it immediately. <laughs> the worst album, Blank Sings the Blues. I Don't Know Sings the Blues, or Steve from Blues Clues Sings the Blues. <laughs> oh my god. You know he's a rapper now? Well, like, no. Is he? Oh, he's yeah. not. He is. He died of a heroin No over. way, I'm yeah. gonna collaborate with him. Dude, mm -hmm. probably roughly I could, I couldn't level. think of anything to fucking save my life on this one. Does Texas count as part of the South? Yes and no. Yeah. It's its yeah, own thing because right. it's big. And thus they think they shouldn't be lumped in with other people who are exactly the same as they are. <laughs> it's got a lot of Southern tendencies. <laughs> 
is all I'll say about Next Texas. <laughs> I'm not saying geographically, because that's not a question. I'm talking about culturally, Chad. It is Come a up. very unique state. Come up with the name for a new TV show with the word Spanky in it. A series of unfortunate Spanks does not have Spanky in it. Uncle <laughs> Spanky's Naughty Hour. He's got a great point. Yeah. Have spanky in it. A series of unfortunate Spanky. <laughs> Come on, like Spanky. I didn't want to call it a series of unfortunate Spankies. <laughs> but I guess I could have. At first, I was like, you're but, right. And then I said it in my head, and I was like, no, you fucked up. That would have crushed. <laughs> <laughs> that would have killed. This is the new, this is the yeah. new hit sexual art show, Spanky Banksy. Mm. Mm. What is your guys' favorite barbecue food? That would not work as well ribs. Barbecue ribs. Yeah, ribs. Yeah. Pork. Barbecue is more fun to say when you oh, say it when when it, like when you make it sound like you have barbecue in your mouth. Oh, like you have the, 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 you're, you're talking about the fat guy bee where you yeah. go like, barbecue. Something that would not work as well as skis. One hundred pizza cutters or D's. I feel like a hundred pizza cutters would probably work better. You'd never want to fall though. No, what you'd just be using the flat end of it. It would be like a big plank. <laughs> it would be like a skateboard. <laughs> What are you thinking that it would be like all wheel up? Yeah, like, like edge down underneath you, <laughs> like escape. <laughs> That's just a car at that point. <laughs> Forget coffee. Don't talk to me until I've had my period oh or god. dildos. Oh my god! That's, that's really good. <laughs> you think you could develop nutritional dildos? You could just eat them away. Nutritional? <laughs> Rob, stop <laughs> this, man. One of these make you anti-nauseous. <laughs> One of these is me. Like a suppository that gives you nutrition. Yeah, it's called food. Oh. You just put the suppository in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's People not a suppository that goes in your mouth. <laughs> I don't so think Ryan. it's a suppository if it goes in your vagina either, though. <laughs> Ryan dot dot dot. Why do we gotta listen to chat? Why do we care what they think? It's a good point, yeah. I've been saying that time. for years. Yeah, well, I've had one sort up in the head here, so in the cum box, if it gets, uh, <laughs> if you get a couple layers on it, do you get a prick of, like, crusty cum? Does that happen? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely terrified. You might need to blow dry. <laughs> I think the smell alone would get you to throw it out. <laughs> staff, if you're here, who's <laughs> Staff? Show me your wrench. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you got a wrench, let me... Hey, okay. You have to show. <laughs> staff, <laughs> this is my last stream for one week. <laughs> Give me 1,000 <laughs> subscribers or I'm going to start okay, a union. Three, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. The one person with the what actual God. wrench didn't put the wrench. Uh oh. Make up a schoolyard these... game that children should never play at recess. Tax evasion. If anyone says crusty cum, vote for me. Texas barbecue. Nort fight. Mustache madness. Red Rover, Red Rover, send the cuckolds Ryova. <laughs> Story time with Uncle Rob. Is Dan here? No, it's, it's just it's the New York version. They send the cuckolds over. <laughs> I don't know if we talk like that. You guys yes. don't say consonants in New York, right? Oh yeah, no, no. We just we we totally bad at them. <laughs> See? What yeah. happens in mustache madness? That's a good you point. just stand there trying to grow a mustache as hard as you can. Sixty-four <laughs> upper lips enter. One leaves. <laughs> fully fully hair. Dude, I wanna I wanna like if I could grow like a big bushy mustache, like a like a Freddie Mercury one, I would absolutely do it. It's not Dude, all I gotta do is get really depressed and stop caring about yourself grooming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Definitely doable. Can you get beard treatments if your beard doesn't grow in well? That's the end. You can probably get beard plugs. I always wondered if there was like Rogaine for the face. That's what I was kind of <laughs> I don't, mean. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want plugs. There is. Well, you get better at growing hair on your face the older you get. You get worse at growing it on your head, for sure. But it, it doesn't ever get longer, do. right? Let's see. I'm gonna look up beard transplant. <laughs> Dude, no, it's real. You can have mine.
Because mine just doesn't grow particularly long no matter how long I leave it. Facial transplants do not mean only transplanting of beards. You can use it to get a mustache, goatee, or sideburns, or to just fill in, fill in sparse facial hair and patchiness. That's what about, can I get someone to a whole bar of that? <laughs> Hello, doctor. What if I want a celebrity face? Can I can I order that? <laughs> I have too much money. Can you fill in some of the patchy <laughs> spots on my face? Look up Minoxidil. It's a name, no name Rogaine. <laughs> I put it on my face twice a day and it works. That seems scary. What? Does it come Does from Russia? <laughs> yeah. It's a vasodilator. So it gives more blood to the skin surface, which encourages growth of the follicle? Okay, it's time for some I don't know. <laughs> so you just gotta inject blood in your face. Yeah! I got my own blood already! I'm not gonna pay for some kind of drug. <laughs> Can I get, like, colored blood? There's a picture on Google image search that is just great. Because it's a 3D image of a head, rather than <laughs> an actual head. Yeah, that rules. The name of a fast food restaurant in the Stone Age. Long John Stones or Hard Rock Cafe. Is a cafe fast food, though? Because you kind of want to lounge in one of those? Well, I wouldn't say that the Hard Rock Cafe is much of a cafe, is it? No. If I walked no. in the Hard Rock Cafe, Je voudrais un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur Steven Tyler. M Mr. Uh, nobody mixes languages in the other languages here. I thought he broke. <laughs> I mean, all Canadian signs have to have French on them. Exactly. So they languages regularly. I can do it. <laughs> A weird physical way to greet someone: pointing right at them or dick knots. Oh, what? Float right into that. What? What's hard to say goodbye? What's the joke? What's the dick knot? It's like a tie your dicks together. Yeah, the it's joke. Like a penis oh. fly trap. The joke is, wouldn't that be weird? Yeah. All right. Fair when enough. you met someone, you tied your dicks together in a knot. <laughs> <laughs> it won. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> you may have got the audience's heart, but you have none of our respect, Cobalt. Clearly. The time Fans to... love Cobalt's answers. The critics <laughs> put out the hit. <laughs> Who are you gonna trust, yourself or a troll behind a keyboard? <laughs> the perfect time to wear stilts. When no bridge <laughs> or fucking a giraffe. Girls? When, when no bridge. When no, no bridge. bridge. <laughs> I mean, stilts, when no bridge. He's right. When Ooh. no bridge. Was there ever a time when stilts were functional? I gotta no. wonder, like. Did did that person mistype two words? Did they forget two words? <laughs> when no bridge. <laughs> it didn't win. Chat. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I thought it was you have to wear, if you were in stilts to fuck a giraffe, you really want that. <laughs> yeah, you want some giraffe. giraffe. Why don't you just have the giraffe ride you? It's voting time. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about the other day when you guys were talking about what animal you would fuck, and I was like, man, I just can't get the image of like an animal riding a dude out of my head. Like it's, I always picture like a dude coming up behind a horse or something like this, Ryan. <laughs> oh, Just no. wanna say, hashtag not Rob. Not Rob. The not name Rob. you would give to a really mopey pig. Idiot or Merle. I'm picturing it now. Yeah. I hate it. No way. <laughs> like, so a, like a hippo in reverse cowgirl on a dude that's just so like... oh, oh my god. In a way, it's, it's, up and down. In a way it's more down. wholesome Ooh. because I think it implies that it's two way pleasure. The animal clearly wants yeah, it. It would exactly. crush your bones. <laughs> well, they have to be, you know, very careful for sure. Why ducks really fly south in the winter? To avoid the otters, or there's a sweet rave there every year? I like the idea better that there's just like a saddle on a dude's back and there's just like a nice animal riding, just, you know, going for a little walk. In the interest of leaning into the bit, uh, me and Jess watched a video earlier today about... Um, Rob? No, it wasn't about me. Uh, <laughs> maybe some point in my life. What but, was it uh, called? I'm a big moron? <laughs> I got you back. <laughs> oh, oh, God! Oh, no, he got me! I was waiting. <laughs> oh, proceed. Hey, it's, uh, uh, dudes who dress up specifically as latex dolls. Okay, next one. <laughs> <laughs> don't, hey, don't get James. So oh, boy. <laughs> 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 get, get a hobby. Come on, the name. <laughs> Come up with a name for a rock band made up entirely of baby ducks. Foie gras or tiny swimmers? 
What does what foie gras mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they force feed That's a like duck until its liver gets fat and then they harvest it and put it on a dinner plate. Yeah. That's exactly right. You guys ever have foie gras? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Really? Really? It was so delicious, actually. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't eat it in good context. Yes, the audience is cultured. <laughs> <laughs> the best shirt to wear next to somebody who's wearing an I'm with stupid t-shirt. Yeah, I'm stupid. What about it, bitch? Or what's a computer? <laughs> There's a super easy, extremely current events joke to be made here. If anyone. Ah, uh, it's uh, aware of what I don't happened. care. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's the one. Oh God. <laughs> It's the real world, by the way. I can't fucking I believe that. it, dude. I don't even want to know. Oh, Actual... is it goose? I thought it was duck. Yeah. Actual life, difference. by the way. I've missed the news today. Ah, uh, there'll be more tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. There's a trending hashtag for it if you're really desperate. <laughs> it's only legal in like two states to do that, and they keep like flip flopping on it. The foie gras. Mm. Yeah, because it's inhumane to the duck. Or goose or whatever the fuck you're feeding. Now, I don't know. You only get it at fancy restaurants, and at fancy restaurants, they do some seriously fucked up medieval shit. It yeah. sounds like you were reading a prompt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very Did you erudite. Get a different script okay? from us? Yeah. Like I tell you, uh, last year when Kate and I went out for our anniversary, we went to a really nice restaurant, and they brought out like the second course, and we're like, "Oh, what's this?" And they're like, "That's like a pig's head." <laughs> what mouth? Mouth? Oh. It's Are you at a party, Mouth? Mouth, Mouth, can you get out of the call, please? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell was he doing? <laughs> I think he needs help. Extreme yeah, is he okay? <laughs> you would be fucked if you got kidnapped and like the only thing you could do is one tap Discord to join this call. Oh, no. <laughs> you would be like absolutely screwed. What is he doing? <laughs> he's probably out with his work colleagues. What do you think he's consuming? Mm, I would guess several Erdinger Dunkles. What the hell the is a Dunkle? Your beer is beer so silly sounding. Erdinger Dunkle. You know the most popular drink in America is called Coca-Cola. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's not that bad compared, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's exactly like comparable. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess they also call their money the loony and the toony, okay, so I they put their milk in bags. Okay, <laughs> we don't put it in there; it just starts there. <laughs> the, the name of the website that probably gave your computer a virus: WatchFreeMoviesFree.tk or you just had to look at that dick.com. Might be a real site. Don't know. I bet it's a real one. Yeah. I hate when Americans talk about Canadian money. <laughs> I'm like all for it. You guys had a freaking glow-in-the-dark dinosaur. I think that's awesome. That is How often does that happen? That it's more often than you'd expect. People are like, that you guys come to my country and you go, isn't that weird that all your money is different colors so you can easily tell bills from one another? <laughs> well, <you> guys, <laughs> I'm calling you stupid in your own home. <laughs> Monopoly is the most famous board game in American history. It all got various colored money, but we still haven't picked up on the concept for our actual currency. We do have colorful money now. Do I mean kind of Fifty really, Shades though. of Green. The best yeah. place to bury all those bodies next to the others or Trump Tower. They're both pretty good. And also, what's the difference? Am I right? Ah! Oh, nice. nice. I passed Trump Tower. I was in New York a few weeks ago. Yeah. And there was just a lot of cops outside with machine guns. <laughs> really? Dan, uh, Dan is that a yes. Holy shit, I did not realize that. Yeah, like 12 of them. When the Statue of Liberty was shaking a fist, we we'll put a boot in your ass is the American <laughs> way. You guys know Toby Keith? Mm -hmm. This is America. I, I, this is not Toby I, Keith. I've told you guys about how I ordered a bagel next to Bruce Willis once. That was right oh outside. Oh my of god! You guys jinxed each other. On, Clever oh boy. Look at the look at the most recent link I put in the Discord. Apostle. Mm, okay. The name of Jesus' thirteenth apostle. On your Nudis or yeah, Jason? Dude, it is all kind of just green though. <laughs> It is, yeah. yeah like, the pen is clearly it, peach. They the are not different, like, but magenta like, red. I the hundred just, is very blue. I just thought the ten was old. Yeah, <laughs> the one looks so stupid. <laughs> the one does look kind of old comparatively. 
Absolutely. I still anyway, have a few two dollar bills. Do you guys? There are colors <clears throat> to them. Yes, I also have a few. Yeah. Bob the Builder probably wouldn't be as popular with the children if he were Bob the Bassoonist or Bob the Bonger. My stomach hurts. Dude, I had I that guess. last night. Yeah, I, me too, actually. I, I yeah. ate half of a chicken and a bunch of potato wedges and then drank oh. like two liters of water and was like, I'm gonna go to bed. And then when I laid down, <laughs> my stomach was like a overfilled balloon. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I had a gyro last night. Ooh. And then a, a savory crepe. Your house is haunted. Mm. Savory crep? <laughs> a savory crep. A good sign. Your house is haunted. Boom, motherfucker. Or <laughs> ghosts come. I, I feel like this is like a free, this is like the before and after. <laughs> <laughs> like boom, motherfucker. Ghosts come. No, he gets off on scaring people. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a ghost ball. Next up, <laughs> trash talk. You trash talk. You would hear meet. at a chess meet. Vote on your check devices. late or give me that check, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Can ever you trash win? Trash talk somebody at a chess meet and then you walked out or something. I played a mentally unstable like 45 year old once when I was 13 and I crushed him. Like six moves in, I took one of his pieces and he was just like, I don't know why I fucking came here anyway. I don't want to be here. And then he just walked away from the table while his time was still ticking. So legally, t it's like getting a win when someone's timed out of a video game. Like I had to wait two and a half hours just in case. Because I was like, this kind of scumbag. He might come back at like 11 p.m. and then be like, mm, pawn to E5, hit the clock, and I'm already asleep, right? <laughs> yeah, that guy's a piece of garbage. He's probably dead. He was seriously <laughs> fucked up. This is like 20 years ago. What happens when Wiley Coyote finally catches the Roadrunner? I'm Nort sure. O W O. Checkmate, cash the check late, and ass eating. They kiss passionately, consume, he fucking eats him, or they resolve their differences. Oh god, I'm really upset I didn't put Rides in Reverse Cowgirl. <laughs> 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 I would have destroyed it. God, damn it. Came to mind like 20 <laughs> seconds after. Uh, uh, I just figured after all those years chasing each other around, they probably developed some sort of bond between them, so they probably make out. Wait, wait, wait. Well, in that world, wait, wait, wait. making out is usually followed by consume. <laughs> this is five years in that thing still is a fucking battery. Dude, it doesn't even sound broken yet. It Why doesn't he great. just order some Uber Eats? Is what I want to know. Because he, he'd buy the shit from Acme all the time. Just get... You know he would open up that fucking bag and there would be like a lit bomb with a millisecond left on the fuse. <laughs> <laughs> just enough time to look at the camera and go... And then explode. And then survive. Yeah. Roadrunner like remarkable. Go by. Eating his chicken korma going meep meep. <laughs> wow, chat. I can see y'all don't really like a happy ending, do ya? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the laugh on the stream deck? Uh, Elgato is a terrible company that makes garbage products. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Just doesn't fucking work right. I will say my Elgato still works well enough. But Malv did buy one to play NHL, and then uh, it had like nothing but problems, and he had to return it. I'm using my stream deck as a paperweight right now. <laughs> Me too, man. Holds my desk down. It's holding my mouse pad left corner down. Ooh, Justin wins by 10 points. Oh, that is the closest I've ever gotten to winning this game ever. I actually, not only is it the closest maybe you've gotten to winning, I don't think you can have a closer score without it being tied. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm looking at images of Euros. They really are super colorful comparatively. Dude, like, come on. I know you're trying to make a, a point and it's sort of valid, but those, when you compare it to other countries, the dollars are not. <laughs> I just well, I like they having wanted, them. They wanted to preserve the identity of the dollar being green, but they also wanted to give them like Oh, uh, yeah. What was that reaction? <laughs> I was like, yeah, the identity of the American dollar, we gotta preserve that, the green. Well, they were like, man, if we change them, all those rap songs that call them greenbacks, they're not gonna make sense anymore. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Chat, you don't even know what racism is. <laughs> <laughs> you ever listen to a tribe called Quest? Shahid had me covered with a hundred greenbacks. It's a hundred bucks. It's not some. It's not like a pejorative they use to offend 
orcs or something like that. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even think of that. That is pretty offensive. A quick way to annoy Pat Sajak while playing Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to buy a consonant or spit on the wheel every time you spin it. You guys follow Chuck Woolery on Twitter? No. No. Hear me out. So we made James Wolf's a real thing. The account yeah. that just retweets James Wood's terrible brain drool and then says, Wolf, <laughs> why don't we just make Chuck Wolfery? Exactly yeah. the same concept. There you go. I don't know who Chuck Wolfery is. He hosted Lingo, you Philistine. Dude, he hosted like every <laughs> game show from 1980 to 1988. Very true. Oh, well, I was not alive. Who let the dogs out? My ass or who, it's who, who? Done. I get it. Dude, yeah. I looked up the Baja men because I was like, man, yeah. their life probably sucks now. Not true. Uh huh. Didn't realize. They play like four gigs a year, and it's always like festival, Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland. Every oh, year. Wow. They're living <clears throat> the dream. Seriously. Yeah. Three gigs a year. I would year. tell you about how, how they fucked me over you, once. You did, but I would like you to do it again. <laughs> the brief summary is that I had a record label forever ago. A for fun thing, a friend. And uh, they pushed back the pressing of our first CD because the Baja men blew up because of that fucking song. And they turned every machine in the pressing plant to print copies of the Baja men CD. <laughs> 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 and oh, oh, it, it fucked wow. up everything. Oh man, I, I don't mean to take this selfish bit out of your story, but I like being one degree of separation removed from the Baja men in that regard. <laughs> it's kind of fun. The worst thing to find when you move into a new house, ghosts come or the layout constantly changes. Yeah, oh, those I think two that'd be, things could be interconnected. Yeah. That'd be refreshing. New home 13 ghost style. Yeah. You just move into a cum room. So I don't want to keep talking about the Baja men. But the other reason that I think they have the greatest but gig, I'm gonna. you yeah. know, every <laughs> single one of those shows is one fucking song. They're not getting you on stage so? and playing a 90 minute set at Disneyland. You know, they're getting on stage. The that's it. There's a, this is the Baja Man who let the dogs out and then they do like a little Disney dance number to it. And that's it. Maybe they do it once an hour on the hour, but it's not that hard of a crowd. I would imagine it's like, you think, uh, yeah. What do you think Smash Mouth's Disney set list is? <laughs> it's just Get all bread thrown right? at them and leave. <laughs> I think DreamWorks would have something to say about mm. that. This just in: a blank has won the election and will become the new governor of Texas. A horse fucking an elephant or a good boy? <laughs> What's the difference? Am I right? Hey. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Are you right? <laughs> I think you might be wrong. Wowie. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Mouth probably just sits at home getting drunk. Hey, Chet, Steve Harwell's a recovering alcoholic. You feel good about yourself now? <laughs> really took the heat off me for that greenback comment. Yikes! <laughs> Fucking assholes. Ooh. He has a disease. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, boy. An angry internet comment on a pet store's website. Burning anus syndrome caused by doggy treats or racist store. <laughs> 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 That's very yeah. good. Flash me. Someone in chat said they went to an, uh, a Smash Mouth concert and they didn't play All Star and everyone was pissed. I kind <laughs> of love that. That's a good <laughs> I love that too. I went to, when I saw that Modest Mouse concert like eight years ago, they didn't play Float On and people were doing the same thing. Like halfway through the show, they're like, next song is going to be Float On, right? And then they play something from like 1998, and people are like, next one, Float On. And then they came out for an encore, they're like, that's when you play Float On. And they're like, nah, played like their new single, and then got the fuck out of the town. <laughs> the worst thing for an evil witch to turn you into, a Canadian from Alabama or her rotten evil butt plug? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Mm, or does it? How can a butt plug be evil? If it actively participates in the job of someone who is evil, yep. then you're evil. I agree. Do you keep your nose or mouth? Yes. Through the butt plug? Yeah, you oh, keep both. That's yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> oh, wow. You I'm suffocate picturing, on the fumes. I'm picturing like a witch from a Studio Ghibli movie. And then an hour in, she pulls out her butt plug for a second, and it just goes, <gasps> and then she puts it back in. Oh my god, I can see it in my head too. It's so vivid. 
Why does the Tower of Pisa lean? It's about to do the rock away, or it's cool. So lean back. Lean, lean back. back. <laughs> lean, lean back. back. Lean back. Like, that's why I hope I never... Oh, man. Wow. Here we go, Bear. This is a great sentence. I hope I never make a one-hit wonder because... <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would hate to have to play the same song and if people didn't get... Or if people didn't... Or, like, if I didn't play it, people would get mad. Like, that Ooh. would suck. I think, nah, like, zero-hit wonder is way worse. Yeah. I'd rather have a one-hit wonder make a couple <laughs> mil and just never play a show again. Are you kidding? It's got to be a nightmare, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you get annoyed, but you so know, like, everyone gets annoyed I, like, at like, their job. Yeah, I don't like like doing band shit. When we were playing shows all the time, like after a year, I almost every song I was like, if I, I just want to shoot myself. I have to play song again. <laughs> Did you guys know that Smash Mouth is a double entendre? Because I never knew that until recently. I just thought it was two funny words put together. Uh, what does it mean? Like a blowjob, like you're smashing mouth. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize that was an expression. Oh, That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that either. But it, you can't name your band that because what? it's vile. <laughs> what it, can you name like a metal band face fuck? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. That's in keeping All with right. it. It's a single entendre. Yeah, you're right. You can't name your band Smash Mouth because they already exist. That's true. <laughs> right, yeah. What about throat fuck? You can name your band anything you want. <laughs> Is there a law about that? When I'm rich, <laughs> my mansion will have a room called the blank room. Okay. The mouth wool mouth room favorite. or the smash mouth room. Austin. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. <laughs> it wasn't it coming on the time. Time. Where did Uwu even come from? Austin. Uh, yeah, really? It came from Austin. He, yeah, he invented it. Yeah, he mm. made it up. Wow. His initials. Is that what you do after you notice the bulge? It was you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I, I just guy. really like the idea of like a Smash Mouth drawing. <laughs> I wonder if any one person has that. How fast I would you get no out of that there. house Bob if you... <laughs> if they were giving you no. the tour and there was a you Smash Mouth? you kidding me? Mouth I'd drive. inquire to know more. Just little locks of hair and some candles. <laughs> The title of Bob Saget's biopic. The guy who was in sitcoms, then edgy on stage, or full mouth. You could see that being the title. It would yeah. legitimate. I feel like he would make a self This is the real question is who would right. buy that biography? <laughs> yeah. <Man. laughs> I feel like I can't. Bob's I can't. mom. <laughs> I just what? hate him so much. You hate Bob Saget? <laughs> you hate Bob like, to, to an extreme degree. <laughs> For what? How did Bob Saget wrong you? Yeah. <laughs> it's so like I feel like his his stick was funny for like a minute and then it's just not funny anymore. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like you know when Bob Saget's comedy album blew up, they took up the entire printing press in our anymore. What's Sam Elliott probably nicknames his mustache? Roadhouse or the Pussy Swiffer? Alright, you may proceed. <laughs> Oh, I gotta just soak in that pussy swiffer for a minute. <laughs> you gotta say it like he with a pussy swiffer. He he, oh, you're a cutie X3. Flops besides you and no, nuzzles. No, that's, oh, yes, that's boy. where it's from. Oh, nuzzles you back and pounces oh. on you and notices your bulge. O-W-O, what's this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, now I get it. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> If you'd never heard the term Great White Shark, what might you call it when you saw one for the first time? Wow, look at that big bright fish, or fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Nick? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's reading the rest of it now. I'm on medication for that. Hopefully the wheeze is going to go away soon. We'll have to replace the emote. That wasn't fake. No. <laughs> for years. It was because I literally have ulcers in my esophagus. For That's why years, that... I thought yes. that was uh, a put upon affectation. Oh. They... <laughs> they put a tube down my throat and they found I have multiple just... ulcers. <laughs> You're just now realizing it's a genuine medical condition. <laughs> I kind of thought it was like, you know. Uh... I'm trying to think of a good answer that is not super offensive. <laughs> I thought it was like Larry the Cable Guy's shtick. It was like, you know, you just kind of mind it for a laugh now and then. 
The name of a band in which every member plays the spoons. Useless or soup? The thing is, I never used to wheeze. It started during the NLSS. I know, yeah! yeah like, no, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> just like a bit he's been doing for Why is it? I thought maybe it came out once accidentally, and it got a good reaction, and then it was like, well, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> and then he just kept doing it for years. <laughs> See, you guys can hear it already starting in the background. <laughs> A good fake name to use when checking into a hotel. <laughs> Face fuck McSmash Mouth or Robert Richitelli. <laughs> yeah. No one would expect Rob would stay anywhere outside of a cardboard box. <laughs> Why? What was that French laugh? <laughs> 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 Unbox to cardboard. Sacre bleu. Why do you need a fake name when you check into a hotel? We don't get spy, so, you don't so get we don't get swarmed by the thousands of YouTube fans that we all have. That are all just waiting at every hotel across the country in case we stay. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, blame the older generation for fucking you, or if at first you don't succeed, try again in 2016. Bernie could still win. <laughs> Past events. Can you just go up to a hotel front desk and be like, hey, you know, is Lyle Overbay staying here? And they'd be like, well, let me check. Yeah, he's in room 1103. Okay, Dude. I'm gonna go kill him now. Thanks for the information. <laughs> when we used to went to when, when, we, when we used to went to when we used to go to the Red Robin and do the thing where we get the free food, we would have ridiculous names like Buttface McSparkle or something, you know. And really? Like, yeah, no, and they, they would not care at all. Huh. <laughs> well, it is Red Robin. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> They're like candied bacon and voluptuous spiced tomatoes, and I get the burger, and I'm like. Where is this shit at? The Jack Daniels Buffalo Spice Barbecue <laughs> Burger. The Jim Beam Old Timey Whiskey Hickory Smoked Barbecue Bacon Cheeseburger. <laughs> this, is, this is a good bit. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. <laughs> the Patron Tequila and Lime <laughs> Jerk Chicken Burger with bacon. You can always just write out a list of that and just read it. <laughs> the Bud Light Lime Strawberry Burger. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Yikes. We marinate oh. our patties in the finest strawberry Budweiser. <laughs> oh, <wow>. oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. Here's the Michelob knows. Light Ultra Twice Grill <laughs> Burger. <laughs> <laughs> the Erdinger Dunkel Deep Fried Wiener <laughs> <Meter> Schnitzel. <laughs> The worst song to do pairs figure skating to. Crank Dad. I hate everything about you. Ba with the ba. I want to fuck you like an animal. Slayer raining blood. Let the bodies hit the floor or hurt by Johnny Cash. I can't believe we didn't have Who Let the Dogs Out on here. Oh, oh that would have been I felt like I felt like it would I I felt it in my heart and I was like, it's just not it's not going to do well. It also seems Dude. like one of those things that could have happened in like 2001. <laughs> Wait, I'm do sure. you think the universe would explode if the Baja Men did a like uh, a cover of All Star, and then conversely, Smash Mouth did a cover of Who Let the Dogs Out? Yeah, the oh, world they just... of thirty-one-year-old man children. <laughs> I just, just want to correct you. It's not called "I Want to Fuck You Like an Animal." It's called it's Closer. closer. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think everyone me. knows that. I thought you were going to correct me and say you were thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let the bodies uh, hit the floor, uh, number one. I thought one yeah, I thought you like figure an skating. Oh, 69, audience. Oh, uh, that's appropriate, yeah. Mm, perfect the shot. number. Corey, perfect. <laughs> if you're going on a bike ride, go for a long one, so I'll give you kudos on Strava. But I just want you to know, if it's not as long as your last ride, I'm not giving you kudos. Because I think that Don't would be reinforce bad kudos. Come on. You guys want to give him kudos on Strava? <laughs> Oh, oh, also Strava? Light marinated. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Murphy's Irish Stout <laughs> Flame Royal Strava, Strava Burger with Kudos. <laughs> Nacho Cheese Bud Light. 
Also, racket that. <laughs> Jose Cuervo Nacho Cheese Queso. <laughs> <laughs> kudos on Strava, Strava kudos. Beef eater gin fried fish in <laughs> <and> coleslaw slam. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. I'm fine. It's... I just can't. I can't not do that when I laugh really hard. Malibu rum, fried coconut shrimp, Louisiana poor boy. That actually sounds not bad, to be honest with you. It's all right. I think my girlfriend just yelled at me for coughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> See, even she thought it was an affectation. Fast blue ribbon, human flesh, sacrifice burden. Yeah, I like it. Power metal. Uh, there's probably more. Oh, hi. My name's AC Justin. You can find me all over the internet. I stream pretty much every day. I've been doing cooking streams every day, so if you're into watching a dude cook food. I did eggplant parm today. I did falafel yesterday. I mean, tomorrow I'm doing steak. Eggplant and, uh, parm, that sounds good. That was How really did the good. falafel come out? Really, really good. Yeah. I was super proud of it. Yeah, I did tahini with it too. Oh. You marinated it in the blood light. Non alcoholic. And uh, after this, I'll be playing some Rainbow Six Siege with some nice boys. Did you guys see that YouTube is making <laughs> YouTube premieres? Oh, my oh. God. oh, good. Wait, like, isn't that just YouTube red videos? But... Yeah, but you all watch them at the same time. Oh my fucking god, really? God, but you can watch you. them whenever you want. You got a problem? What the shit? Christ. Why? Anyway, uh, Bear Taffy, why don't you go next? Uh, catch me on YouTube.com slash premiere slash Bear Taffy. Everybody come on by. We'll all watch my video at the same time. Oh boy. I feel like I've heard of that idea before somewhere. I, yeah, I, I, I can't put my finger on it. I'm not sure. Oh man, this pr the press release is really good. Channel memberships help creators build community and earn more money. Merch makes it easier for creators to sell custom merchandise on their channels. Premieres... Pr premieres... Pre premieres! Premieres records pre-recorded content as a live moment. What's fucked up... Wow. First off, I mean, that's just Twitch. But secondarily... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. That sounds sick for Isaac episodes. Because all of the negativity can get out between 6 and 6.35 a.m. Pacific time when I am blissfully <laughs> ignorant to it in dreamland. <laughs> what a dream come true. Anyway... Um, how about you? Hold on, I'm trying to go in, in the descending order here of your importance me. to me. Austin. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf. Uh, I was on holiday today, so I didn't stream, but I'll be back tomorrow uh, playing more video games and stuff. That's it? That's it. <laughs> okay, uh, Robert. Did you want, I can do more. No, that's okay. I can no, let Austin some, keep talking. No, yeah, we got to Austin go. marinated. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do one with some Smirnoff ice? Deep fried wolf with Michelob. <laughs> if I have to, I can remove you from this Discord. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure if one of these right click options will knock you out of here. Also, movie night happens every Saturday. So come back to that. Hello, I'm gonna play the new Darkest Dungeon DLC. I haven't had a chance to even try it yet, uh, and uh, don't play it in knock Korean. Out <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nicholas, hey, Ready Rockley Smile here. What's going on? Come follow me here on twitchtv Smile. You should do it because nobody ever does uh, when I do these callouts, and it would be interesting to see if the number goes up this time, just to see if you're listening. Kate, are we going live after this? And hey, Kate. Lovely Momo. She's not in the hey, chat, or she's invisible. <laughs> Kate. I thought the government banned Momos. <laughs> That's only in Europe. Oh, God, I, know I love Canada. Playing. What is she playing? Mysterium. Really? Uh, yeah. How'd you know that? She asked me to play. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hey, you can give me some of that information as well, if you don't mind, Kate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hang up on you guys, and I'll see you in like I don't know nine days or something like that. Nice. Oh man. Where are you going? Uh, yep, Monticello. All right. And on that, I hung up on them.
but I can still see them lighting up in the Discord because they are laughing so hard. They said, ha ha, Monticello. What a great joke. A classic joke from Northern Lion. Monticello! Hey, use your Twitch Prime subscriptions in a moment of weakness right now without realizing that I won't be here for the next, like, nine days. Hold on, wait, was, can I play, like, Adagio for strings or something like that? No. <laughs> Oh, he's done it. Thank you. And by he's done it, I mean we've done it. It works every time. The squeaky wheel gets the sub, baby. The squeaky ocean gets the sub. Will there be a no NLSS? I don't know. Bug the other people about it. I'll be on vacation and will not be responding to your requests. Because if I look at the internet too much on my week of vacation, I will go insane and throw my desk through the window that doesn't even exist in my office yet. Can we get Hafu to take over? You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can get Jeffrey Bezos to take over for all I care. Doesn't matter to me. I won't be here as established many times in the past. No masters, no rules. Exactly. It's gonna be a libertarian stream. Only the best comments will rise to the top. 